What's up guys, we are back again with some hot news. Samsung's biggest Exynos upgrade could be more powerful than we initially expected. The upcoming Exynos will be based on ARM next generation architecture and well, ARM has made a killer announcement. Yes, ARM has officially announced the brand new Cortex X2 core along with the A710, A510 and a brand new Mali G710 GPU. So this new X2 core will bring up to 16% of speed boost over the current Cortex X1 core that we have seen on the S21 Ultra when running on same node and same frequency. Pretty much running on the same 5nm architecture. As far as the high performance Cortex A710, it will be bringing 10% performance boost and 30% efficiency gain. Now, perhaps the most significant gain is the performance with the low power Cortex A510. It's said to bring a performance boost of up to 35% compared to Cortex A55 last year. So we can expect a next generation processor, especially those which are coming in the mid-range chip and those performances will be really, really fast. So overall, ARM says that we can see a whopping 33% CPU gains for the next generation of processor along with 20% improvement in GPU performance and 15% gain when it comes to efficiency. Samsung is not going to be using any Mali GPU inside as you guys already know they are going to be moving towards the AMD GPU. As far as the Mali GPU, it brings some much improvements in the likes of ray tracing and other constant level features but samsung as we know that have planned something incredible with the amd that could destroy the competition as far as now we have only seen some prototypes which were absolutely amazing as they have completely trashed the apple a14 bionic on top of this awesome GPU, the next GPU will have a Cortex X2 and ARM V9 architecture which has arrived a while ago. This will bring some great performance gain as it will improve enhanced vector performance, improve machine learning and improve the digital processing. Again, in simple words, it's going to be one of the biggest Exynos upgrade ever. Also in the leaks, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 will have an under display camera but only on the inside. According to the new leak which is coming from Frontron which gives us a pretty much good detail about the camera performances which are coming in the Galaxy Z Fold 3. It is expected to be coming with an under display camera sensor which is going to be coming with a 16 megapixel of module and we can only see that in the inner display. The outer display is going to be coming with a similar punch hole design. As far as the other cameras are concerned we are going to see a 10 megapixel of front cameras which is coming with a punch hole sensor and on the back we have 12 megapixel of main sensor, 12 megapixel of 2x telephoto lens and an ultra wide camera of 12 megapixel. So these are some of the camera improvements which we can expect in the Z Fold 3. Although I am not pretty much impressed with the telephoto lens because it is coming with 2x zoom if the leak is true with a 12 megapixel sensor. According to the rumor we have seen that the phone will be coming with a 6.2 inch of external display, 7.5 inch of internal display both running at 120 hertz of refresh rate. The inner one will supposedly support it by S Pen 2 though it may not quite replace the Galaxy Note that we are not getting this year. So guys that is it in this particular video i'm pretty much excited about the next generation of exynos 2200 processor which is coming with some big improvements let me know your thoughts what do you think about this new processor in the comment section below subscribe to the channel if you are new here and thanks for watching this video peace